What's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? Um, today I just wanted to show you a little bit about my garden and show you how I'm planting some of these plants this year. Um, I love gardening. I think it's super just fun and rewarding and interesting. Quick check on the ducks and all. They're doing good. I got more little babies over here actually. Indian runner ducks are the best duck ever. But anyway, I'm also like I top some of these and if you don't know what that is, it's where you pinch the very top of the plant like I did there. So that'll shoot out more growth on the sides. And this is an untopped plant, as you can see. It just still has the top on it. So it'll kind of keep growing up instead of bushing out. So I'm just doing a little experiment here. They're about six inches or so, eight inches apart. That's how I'm measuring them. And then the rows will be about the same. So, and then I'm gonna do eggplant over here and tomato growing up these strings. So tomato gonna go along there. My son is right over here comes right over the trees there and sets behind the house there. So I use the no-till method pretty much in my garden. I just put mulch down. We get a, I get my truck and I back it up and I get like, you know, a load of mulch unbagged and everything. And I throw that down. But we recently got a sprinkler system put in. So we're waiting about a year. So I don't crush the pipes or nothing like that. But this year I just got um, just mulch. And what I put in is a little bit of lime. This is just garden lime just for blossom end rot and calcium in the plant just do a little sprinkle of that next i do worm castings and should i mention my chicken coop over here is a free source of compost every fall and every spring cleanup we dump all the leaves into there it's just amazing because you rake back the first like two or three or four inches of leaves and underneath there is literally just black dirt that looks like that so I did that on this whole area here. Anyway, so I dig a hole about four inches deep, put some lime, some uh, earthworm castings in, and I got this new product here I'm trying out. This is mycorrhizal fungi, fungus, so it um, inoculates the plants and gets, some, gets that mycorrhizal fungi introduced to the roots so they can absorb um, more nutrients easier and faster. Take just a pinch, that's all you need. You could do more, I'm sure, but that's all I do. And I don't mix that in. And I get my plant. Let's see, this one's looking good. I try to pull off, uh, you know what, I'll leave this guy on there. Most of them, I've been pulling the little smaller plants off, but you know what, I'll leave it on there. So I plop it right on there, and then just cover it back up. And if you can see how there's like a little notch here, those are where those leaves are. I'll just pull these off. Because roots will come out of these, uh, this bottom little stem here. They won't root past this, but they'll root down here. So I just like to do that. I'm going to do as many rows as I can of these peppers. I have the rest of these are all bell peppers. Those are jalapenos. And I have maybe one or two rows of eggplant I'm going to do. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to definitely be pretty crowded in here. But that's how I like my gardens. I'll show you real quick. I got my asparagus growing up. So you can see my strawberry plants are flowering very nicely. And this is all mint, of course. If you know anything about mint, you know it just takes over the garden. And gives a stalk in the uh, little chicks there. And here's just some of my stuff on my deck as of right now before I re you know, transplant everything. It's about the size I have every year. Um, I just recently got this little greenhouse at uh, Home Depot for about, I don't know, 50 bucks or something and it's really nice when it gets cold out you know when it's chilly during the day but if it gets above 70 and that is closed your plants will bake and that's actually what happened to some of my tomatoes here but they recovered and the peppers that you just saw you know some browning on and like some just like dry leaves you know that's what happened to them but they recovered they just were all droopy because I left them in there and it was like maybe 70 and uh, it wasn't home time anyway I got some Got all my flowers, my little wildflowers and stuff. All different types of flowers, uh, sunflower, you know, wildflowers, more milkweed, of course. I have tons of milkweed right here for the monarchs. Flowers down here, more herbs in the back there. Uh, Cosmos, they're going out today in the pots. Cosmos and Calendula. And got a little apple tree here that I grew from an apple I had from the store. There was a little seed that germinated in there, so there's two of them, so I grew two. And that's a zinni in the middle, little fig. That's a little uh, birdhouse gourd. So just like a pumpkin or a squash or something like that, but just the uh, birdhouse gourd. 
So I'm really excited to grow that a few more seeds I'm gonna try. And then yeah, last but not least, the little cucumbers and uh, zucchini. They're going in the garden. Everything that's going in these pots today is probably gonna be flowers. Like you could see, there was an experiment. I put this cosmos here probably about three weeks ago when it was real tiny. And it's actually doing really well, even though it got down to maybe 35, maybe some nights, but it's gonna be nice and warm now. And I got a little hummingbird feeder. I'm excited for that. But every uh, garden needs a good guard dog. Yeah, I'm really excited. I have a plan. I'll actually show you the picture right up on the screen right here of what I want the, the deck to look like. So I think that'd be really cool to try to pull off with the flowers I have and stuff and the, and the vining flowers I have in the middle there. So that'd be really cool. I just think this is amazing. Look at this, you know, the cells that these come out of. Beautiful plant, it's an eggplant. He looks so small in these little containers and then once you put them here, you're like, oh, you got a lot more to grow, buddy. That's so cool, I just love this. Okay, got my eggplants in, now I'm onto my tomatoes. I'm burying the tomatoes about eight inches deep. As you can see, tomato plants root out all along the stem. So you just cut the leaves off and do the same process, same kind of, you know, stuff I'm using. But yeah, all you do, as the tomato grows, you just weave it around like that. You know what I mean. You just weave it around the stem and it'll right up the stem, look good. Look at that root system. This is the perfect time to transplant. They're just barely, you know, outlining the uh, shape of the container, which is super cool. All right, you go, buddy. New home for you. Here's a quick little shot of the ducklings. Muddy and messy as always, but super cute. Okay, so pretty much all planted and mulched. Looks really nice. What do I have? Three rows of bell pepper, a row of jalapeno, a row of eggplant, and these are cherries on this side. I think these two and these three are beef steak. Big juicy tomato. Um, so now I just gotta... Trellising these tomatoes will be simple enough because I, like I said, I have these strings in here. And I'm just gonna tie the string to one of these stakes, push that in, and then the tomato will pretty much just wrap itself, but I'll help it along at first. And for the peppers and eggplant, eggplant I'm probably gonna be using tomato cages. Um, and some of the peppers, I know like the jalapenos, they don't get too big and the stems do get pretty strong. So I'm probably just gonna end up using something that kind of looks like this. I have a whole bunch of these here. And um, I don't know, probably just some stakes along them. And uh, that, should, that should be fine. You know, and then uh, my squash and cucumbers, we're all going to go here. And I think I'm going to do one or two uh, zucchini over there as well. Um, past here, it's probably it's, it's about, you know, half sun, partial shade. And this is pretty much full sun here. Um, cloudy now, thank God. I was sweating. But um, yeah, I'll just water these in. Next week, I'll use a water-soluble fertilizer. And I forgot to mention... Before I put any of the plants down, I did a um, just like a 555 fertilizer across the whole um, bed here. And so that'll take care of any of that. But I don't know, I'm just super excited. These are um, blueberries right here. Have not gotten any blueberries yet. And I don't know, does anyone know what this plant is? If you, if you do, it's some type of like berry, I think. But I'm not sure. I got it from a big box store two or three years ago. I forget what it is. So it's just this kind of growing thing. Um, peach tree, I'll show you this. This peach tree is probably about three, four years old now. So it's doing really well. Um, you guys see some little peaches coming along there. Very nice. Tons of it. It's probably about 15 foot tall now. If you can kind of see up there, the top up there. And that cherry tree is actually, uh, about three years old. And that's probably about the same size, almost maybe a little smaller because I do have this bed around here just to kind of keep it contained a little bit but keep it small but still producing and here's the cherry tree that's probably about 15 foot yeah everything's looking real nice blackberries of course 
blackberry and I think this is a raspberry here so that'll grow along the fence and tons of blackberry they're just taking over I'm gonna try to you know keep them contained back here as they grow got the little ducklings out getting used to everybody else <laughs> you're looking good these are all gonna be a little flower bed here I'm gonna do but I think everything is looking really really nice it's really come together you getting them squirrels and them moles huh he loves looking for bowl holes right <laughs> okay it's a new day and i was working on potting up all the things on the deck here these are mainly just flowers just all different types of flowers it looks pretty scroungy now but trust me you know they'll be up to here they'll be up to the railing by uh july so I'm just working on that, just getting everything, it's a mess, you know. But um, I actually transplanted some mammoth sunflowers here. So three of them right there in about a two foot area. So we'll see what happens. Here, Zinnia Cosmos. Um, if you saw that picture, that's kind of what I'm trying to replicate. Small little things in the front, Calendula, Marigold. Um, and then I'll put a Tithonia in here, sunflower. Just growing a bunch of crap together and seeing what does well and what doesn't. Put a few vines in that blue one and, and this white one as well. And uh, this one, of course, to get the vines going up and stuff. Make it look pretty cool. We're going to work on getting that sprinkler working. That's what that uh, PVC pipe is there. There's our guard dog there again. Squirrel! <laughs> 